for one car and I would have had to take both of them there and catch an Uber between time and then an Uber back and then when I had my assistant I would normally get her to just drop me off before we she drive one car I drive one car and then kind of go like that but girl he came right to the house I'm like perfect like my car is done that was like amazing and then now I'm on my way so y'all know I got two phones remember I told you in my last vlog I said I lost my phone well, my homegirl found it and it was in her couch. Hi. It was in her couch. So I'm on my way to go get my phone now from her house. And then I'm gonna go to some furniture stores over there because I wanna look at some furniture and get some ideas or just anything. Um, I noticed that like a lot of people in this area will have like little furniture plugs, cool. But they'll have like that quilted looking like type of couch or a headboard like that's very common what I've noticed and it's actually a really cool look if you're just doing I mean not cool but it's actually like a little a real clean I guess um, basic staple type of look because it looks a little bit more like rise and dazzle but then it also is not doing so much if you wanted to do a lot of switching out of your stuff but I personally don't want that kind of look if I did get that kind of look, it would be because my mind changed and you know my mind can freely change whenever, but I'm just looking for something a little bit more, you know what I mean? So we're going to see, and I have not drove my car much here in Atlanta at all, so is he trying to come over? I'm damn sure busting up this highway. But um, yeah, so right now I'm on my way to get my phone and then I'm going to be looking at some furniture stores. And then after that, who knows what I'm going to be doing, to be honest, because I don't have a clue. But we'll get into that stuff. But I just, oh, I said I wanted to go to Target and I wanted to go to a Walmart. Hopefully I can find a really good one, though, because the Target I went to the other week was kind of janky. I was like, well, I don't like this one. So we'll see. But I'll see y'all. So I'm in Target and they have this new, I believe, shower curtain line or just a new brand called Society 6. And it says favorite artists from the community. So here's a couple of different prints. So I thought this was like super cute if you guys are interested in looking at some of these. I personally love this one. I only have one shower curtain and I've already started working on what I wanted to do, the core design aesthetic of that to be. Oh, I love this little basket. I like that a lot. Um, I have some over here as well, but the shower curtain really doesn't work for me because I have so much other stuff going on. Not a little shower caddy. I don't really need that. So I'm just trying to figure out what do I actually need that's going to go with my stuff I already got, to be honest. So oh, I have to figure this out to do my closet. I mean, not do my closet. I do my rugs. Girl, why all these candles over here? Is that down? Period. So this is where the fuser, the magnolia. I'm 
much these are. And then the reindeer one. That's the one that caught my attention at first. Oh my god, this one smells so good. It smells like a gingerbread. Ew, I don't like spice or not. Stank. Okay. We're running your target. What the fuck? No me fuck it, honey. Walk it like I talk it. That's my bro, we know the lingo. lingo. Ain't no fucking talking. No. This some you know I don't win no. We know. Hold out on the coffee. Smoke the cookie. Get the coffee. Try that fresh, I need a coffee. Call us up and we do. Oh. And the pot I'm not playing no dolphins. Play. And then it go buy me a faucet. Nah. Look it like I talk a nigga and bought it. Oh. I better go, so I gotta call it. Oh. I'm in the shit, so nigga just down. Shit. Look in the beard and that's all the power. I can't be bad and take my spot. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it, like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Ooh. Walk it like I talk it. You yeah. walk it like I talk it. Walk, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Ooh. Walk it like I talk it. Guys, I'm about to do my makeup. I am stuck. Hey y'all, good morning, actually. I'm starting off my new vlog. And I'm about to do my makeup. That's exactly what I'm about to do. Is this good old makeup. That is not being used. I need to use that. All right, so let me actually come back because I'm gonna finish my makeup first. I'm gonna work on my guest bathroom today and my personal bathroom. And hopefully, I got everything I need, except for maybe minor. Shit, I don't know if I got everything I need, to be honest. <laughs> and then I also have to film some content today. And then my best friend is coming over. I have a lot. I have a lot going on today and I'm trying to film it. <laughs> so, we gonna see. I think it's gonna work though, cause I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't. But we gonna see, we gonna see. Because baby, sometimes I be wanting to give and I don't be giving. So girl, look at my hallway. Feel like, feel like decoration stuff, basically. And then this is the bathroom. So I'm about to get to it. Nothing to it, but to do it. I put these two little flowers in here, but that is really not gonna work. So <laughs> that was a um the lighting in here better than my bathroom. I need to fix the light in my bathroom though. It's too dark. I'm like, baby, it looks really yellow in here. I have nothing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this mess. <laughs> Why am I yelling? <laughs> I be cracking myself up thinking though it looks the best when I like record from this angle so for example I got this from Amazon using this as the background and then doing this looks so much better so I'm about to just line up everything I'm about to record and then go from there but we need to do an official bathroom makeover so period all right let me take this out I'm going to take this out and do all this over. So, I'm going to record my phone too. That probably will help with a lot of this stuff because. But it was the mean for him. Hey, y'all wanna take me out 
so bad. I make all of y'all hoes so mad. Hoes wouldn't bout them big ass teeth. Hit me out fast, still going outside. Dusty, I ain't even gonna hold on. Let's gloss away. What the fuck? Look a little crazy. But nonetheless, girl, why? But girl, why? Um, my car needs some tire. I mean, needs some air. I think it needs air. If it still don't work, it needs tires. So, girl, why? I have never really put air in my um car. So. And the one time I did do it, I don't think it worked. It was like sizzling back out. So, I'm gonna try to put air in this damn tire. Thankfully, I'm in my car. But we gonna see. I need some, oh fuck, I need quarters, hold on. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I don't remember the last time I was in a dollar store. <laughs> like, what? Like, I don't think I ever, well, no, I've been in dollar stores plenty of times before, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't been in one in so long. And I forgot how much good stuff they be having in here. So we're going to see. I'm going to try to find me a little science science. So I'll be back. Now, excuse me. Excuse me if I'm tripping. But I thought the dollar store was supposed to be a dollar. I guess a lot of stuff in here for $5, $3, $4. So I'm like, okay, so is the dollar store not a dollar no more? I try what? Hold on. I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff in here that's not a dollar. Projection lamp. Child, who knows what's going on in here? What in the hell is this? Child, it's a. I don't know. Nothing in here is really a damn dollar. I mean, but I'm gonna still look around, see if there's some stuff I need to get. Now I'm in here. I just not have not been here in a while, but they do have better stuff than when I was in here. For example, like salt lamps. I already got those though. They got little fake artificial plants up there. Okay. Somebody need clean up in here. What oh, is a red rat shirt? I love red rats. SpongeBob too. This is so funny. This is a little shirt. <laughs> what is this? LED light set. I wonder what they look like. I have to look this up on YouTube. See if somebody already reviewed it. Oh, pots. Mm. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to come here because, you know, I love to talk about like my movie stuff. But I think now since the new year is happening, I'm going to start incorporating talking about news, to be honest. And I feel like personally with me, I have been seeing this whole saga with the lady, um, Scarlett's mom, I believe the lady is called Tiana something. I'm not for sure how to f pronounce her name, but I have seen this mother daughter duo show up on my TikTok so much before. And it's crazy how like, yeah, I'm a social media influencer. Yeah, I know other influencers. I don't really talk to too many parent influencers, but it's just so crazy when a child is that young and I feel like 
they are perceived as a family on social media one way and then when we see certain stuff it's like what the heck like this is not what I thought it was at all and that's why I say all the time even on my podcast I'll be like social media is not freaking real like it's just not because it's like certain things that I see I'm just like okay this is wild so they have over six million followers on TikTok and I want to play the clip for you guys so y'all can actually see oh I don't have time to do that your brother's gonna do it in the car get in your seat now let's go come on Love you. Can you say hey to everybody? I'm do you, like, do you know where your brush is? Huh? I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there. Okay, tell everybody bye. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to go. Bye. Sorry. It's okay. If you don't want to be on it, that's fine. All right. Bye, y'all. for real why what's going on why is it it just because why go take a bath yeah go take a bath why where is it it just isn't like oh Oh, my daughter is good she's good and she loves doing videos and if she doesn't then we then we go then we do what then we're like okay well we just won't do them anymore that's what I told her because mommy will find another way to make money okay First things first, in the first clip, and shout out to the girl that I copied this from because I don't see the handle name there, but this is just a video I got off TikTok. But for the first clip, first off, y'all can see Scarlett. That's the little girl. She does not want to get her hair done. Kids don't want to get their hair done all the time. That's nothing new, but she doesn't clearly want to be on live either. So as you see, when the mother walks off camera, it looks as if she went into another room or that's what she wanted us to think. But the thing about it was the little girl was sitting in front of a vanity that had a reflective, it was a mirror behind it, which showed the reflection of what she was doing. And do y'all see this woman really stick her middle finger up at this little girl? Mind you, this is her daughter. Second off, and then she did an apology video. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But what? Like the whole situation was just very aggressive. It was very like, like I don't even know. It was just an uncomfortable thing for me to even see. And I'm not a child. So imagine this little girl. She's probably no more than five or six. And her mother is number one. like she's low-key kind of lunging at her and then she comes in this aggressive manner and then you see her literally stick her middle finger up like what I was like mind blown then let's talk about a second clip I feel like this was super duper inappropriate like I'm sorry it was super duper inappropriate number one she's on live y'all know when you go live on TikTok you run your money up and the little girl basically comes in and she's like I'm itching you can hear the little girl she's whispering it literally whispering so that already tells you right there she feels like you know some type of way about what she's saying because it's about her little lady part and whatever And for you to stay on live while your daughter is discussing with you something that's hygienic, wild. And definitely a negative, not okay at all to me. Like, I was like, are you serious? The little girl is whispering it, let alone she's saying it to you because she probably don't want nobody else possibly in the house to hear. But you got thousands of people hearing this little girl say this. And also, let's just be honest, y'all shouldn't be talking about anything hygiene related on camera I just feel like it's inappropriate like at all like for her for her age and also for her not to have a choice and then for the last clip she says you know if she doesn't want to do it anymore you know it's no big deal but you know mommy will find another way to make money that to me was like almost I don't even have the correct word I don't want to say gaslighting because I don't think that was the appropriate term but for lack of better words I'm just gonna say It was implying. First off, kids uh, always want to 
they want to please their parents. Like that's just something they want to do. So if the little girl Scarlett knows that this is their way of making money, she's going to want to do things to make her mom happy. I just know majority of kids, maybe not in this situation, but I definitely feel like it. So for her to have the audacity to say, well, mommy could just find another way to make money. I already know right there that told me what I needed to know about. She normally takes these little phrases and statements and says that so that it kind of guilt trips the little girl into doing things that she possibly might not want to do. And it's like, if you want to say, mommy going to find another way to make money and she don't want to do it, find another way to make money. You don't have to stay it. Like that's something that should be in home, whatever. I feel like at first the little girl probably really, really enjoyed doing videos. And I think every now and then she still continues to enjoy doing videos. But I think when it gets to the point where something becomes a job, that's where it's like, okay, this is not as fun as it was in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I just think that this whole thing was crazy. I wanted to bring it to y'all attention. I think when I see little issues on TikTok, Instagram, or other stuff where y'all can just send it to me and I will discuss what I feel about it, especially if it's something I see because it's been going crazy all over um, TikTok. And it's just shed light to me about like how parents are and certain things that happen because it's just like, what? This is just not okay. It's not cool. And I really, really, really felt like I don't even know. It was just so many things I felt. And I'm trying to keep it really PG because I know how YouTube is. But I just feel like, you know, let me know your thoughts below because this really had me like, lady, what? Okay. Like, wow. Also, I have to come back because I forgot about the apology video. Number one, the apology video was so um, very inconsiderate, very... <laughs> It didn't, she didn't care. Like, it was almost like she kind of solidified what everybody felt anyway. She's just like, I'm a really good mom and I do this, I do that. And Scarlett is really a bad little girl. She doesn't listen. And what five or six year old does listen? That doesn't mean I'm about to give them a middle finger. Like, behavior is taught. <laughs> like, and then she was like, I'm a mom. I get frustrated. I'm not a mom by any means, but my little sister is only like eight. And I know the things my mom goes through and she never loses her temper. She definitely gets frustrated at times, but it's also a way you deal with things and do certain things. Let's just be honest. We all know what the middle finger means. It's the symbolism of you. And that's just like horrible. Like even for a little child like that to absorb Y'all can go on their Instagram, I mean, TikTok and see it, it, it was it was like, girl, this wasn't even a pod. You should have saved it. If you would have been better off not even acknowledging and just kept in, moving and moving forward, to be honest. But yeah, it was child. I was like, OK, like, you know, but like I said, definitely comment below. Let me know y'all suggestions, not suggestions. Let me know what y'all feel about it, because to me, it was just like I couldn't not even I couldn't believe it, but it was just one of those things where it's like, really? Wow. And for you guys to accumulate 6 million followers, clearly off the little girl, because nobody cares about the mom like that. But it's just like, and then, you know, it's so crazy. I almost forgot. Their page really started going up when the mom, since she's a Caucasian lady, is doing the little girl's hair because she's mixed and pouring all these affirmations in her, love in her, speaking so highly of her. Like it was so, that's why they kind of went, you know, popping out. And even the mom, she said that she didn't give her the middle finger. She said she just was doing something with her hands. It looked very clear to me like she was doing the middle finger because the thumb was back. And clearly, we, I didn't see any other fingers up. Unless her fingers are like dead straight and she just held her thumb down. I don't see how that wasn't the middle finger to me. Um, and like I said, I understand parents can get frustrated. I understand parents can go through things and they have a lot of weight on their shoulders. I definitely get it. But I feel like it's also a way to discipline and you shouldn't have kids if you can't deal with things in a correct, proper manner. Because they didn't ask to be here and that's your choice to bring them in. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Girl. Good morning. I had to literally like I'm not even gonna hold y'all and get myself out of a slump. Like, I was not really in the space to wanna vlog or do nothing because I was so worried and worrying about consuming to like get my house together and all things of that nature. But they never had me a little fun too. Like, not even fun. I just need to vlog. Well, no, I definitely need to have a little bit more fun. But I need to just vlog. Like, Get myself together and vlog. So, 
Girl, I'm here now. I've been up since 4 a.m. Literally. 4 a.m. And I've just been on Instagram, being nosy, watching stuff. So today, I want to do a self-care day of just my nails, my feet, my freaking um, just stuff that needs to get done, to be honest. And just cleaning my house, putting stuff in areas, and that's where it's supposed to go. Stuff like that. But I'm going to try to vlog the whole entire thing. Well, I am going to vlog. I'm not going to try. Excuse me. And my feet have been so rough. So I need to, um, I have this little thing I'm going to do with my feet to get to this. So that's what I really got going on, child. But, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm cleaning up right now, though. Shawty says she really feeling me like it. Mm. I also need to set up my P.O. box. So by the time y'all see this video, I have my P.O. box up, everything like a lot of things. Oh whoa. Well, have to be place. Good morning, Lulu. How are you fitting, Pookin? Girl, and then I put my nails on with some cheap glue, I'm trying a new glue. Girl, that ain't work. These nails can just pop it off like it ain't nobody's freaking business. I'm like, girl. All right. So, that's what I got going on. So, I'll be back when I'm actually doing something. Because I'm just clean right now. Girl, I guess I'm doing a little Sunday reset, child. Because I was just thinking about it. I'm like, I'm cleaning, washing dishes. Oh, my gosh. So I got a dishwasher. But, girl, my dishwasher... I got a dishwasher, but my dishwasher, um, it broke. It was like leaking and stuff. So I ended up having to get a new one installed. But the guy should be coming this week. So, girl, when last time I washed a dish? Okay, let's get into it. Put me some good old little bleach up in there. A little dab. Let that run good. She said she really good in me like yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Y'all, I had to get a lot of stuff done today. So I got my bedroom, one of my rooms upstairs repainted. Um, and also I'm getting my chandeliers in my bedroom put up. I only got one right now, but um, cause the other one was like, I don't know, it didn't come yet. So when it comes here, I'm gonna get them both up. But right now I got one going up, so let me show y'all what's going on. The little bit of stuff. Yeah, because child, we're getting this house together. Period. So y'all remember this room was actually green, but now it is, <laughs> it's white. Well, it's like beige, but girl, it was green. It was so dark in here. I don't think y'all understand. It was super dark in here. I hated it. Like, hated it. But she looks a lot better now. Don't you like her? Girl, look what she did. Come here. Give mommy a paw. Sit. Sit. Mo, sit. Girl, I looked at her when the painters was up here. Look at her little paw. She done ate some of it. You need to stop. Girl, she literally had got paint on her little feet. And I was trying to get it off, but it really wasn't coming off. But it looked like some of it came off. Girl, you're bad. As hell. Bad butt dinner. And then I got this room repainted also because it was just like a bunch of mess in here. It looked crazy. So this room got repainted. Also got my... Stairs repainted, like little areas just need to be. These all got repainted as well. Period. Period.
Okay, so this is what my chandelier looks like. Super cute, right? And I got it right off Amazon, so I'm gonna talk about it in my haul. But it looks so cute, y'all. Like, ugh. It just made this room look so much brighter. And then this side is the old lighting fixture that was inside of there, but it just, you see the difference. <laughs> like literally this one is just a lot more brighter cuter only thing i really probably don't care for is how the shadows of the light is on stuff but nonetheless it just looks a lot more brighter here so i need to get it on the other side as well so even with me filming in here okay so let's just say i wanted to film in here look how much brighter it is even if i'm doing like a uh, OTD, uh, a trauma. Huh? That's why I have not really been like sitting down talking, talking, blogging because I've been working on getting my house together. Like it's so many different things. Like it's way different having a apartment or just like you know certain stuff. I don't know why I pull that forward. I need to pull that right back. But it's a lot different than having that kind of stuff because it's like the responsibility really don't be on you, but this responsibility now is on me a lot more. So even right here, way better. The lighting is way better, period. I should have got him to paint this. Cause that look crazy. I did it my damn self. But um, yes, that is what's going on with me. First things first, I just want to say thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for freaking getting this channel to 20K. Like what the hell? <laughs> I think because I like talk to y'all like pretty much like we homegirls. I don't really think too deep. Don't think my cabinet's empty. I got new plates. Also, let me show y'all. I got these new clear plates and I love them. And they were at my little dollar store, which was crazy as hell. Cause I thought that they were gonna be like cheapy, but this one look a little ashy. But it looks so nice, especially with the food that you can see underneath, but you know. <laughs> My house comes together. Don't sue me. Don't sue me. But I really appreciate y'all. Like, I feel like sometimes I be forgetting about like how many of y'all it really is just off the simple fact of the way I talk to y'all. It kind of feel like I'm only talking to like one person. That's why everybody be like, oh, if Tay, you be feeling like my bestie. It be feeling like that too. Like when I talk on my camera, I don't feel like I'm talking to. 40,000 people, 20,000 people, and I'm talking about the views too, like, cause the views would be like, you know, 20, I mean 40 or 50 sometimes. But it literally don't be feeling like it's as many people as it is, but it is, if that makes sense. So, I was just like, oh my God, thank y'all so much. Cause I was very nervous about this channel and I was trying to get it, you know, together. Cause I was like, Baby, give it to me. I'm about to put this stuff up because I don't need this stuff right now. Put that in here. Girl, I cooked some fish the other night. I did such a good job. I'm going to show y'all a picture of it or a little video. Girl, it was so, it turned out so good. It turned out so good. So my kitchen is back low key kind of clean for what it was given. So now I'm about to go upstairs and really work on putting some stuff away. I was like, did that glass break? No. I'm about to say, now I just showed y'all and now the damn bowl want to break, but it didn't break. <laughs> Cause if it did, I would've been like, bitch, what? So I need to, you know what I really need to do? And I'm about to show y'all because I really need to do it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Girl, I had to put some lip stuff on my lips. I was like, okay, no. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Okay, also. Uh, so one thing I really want to talk about is, okay, we're going on this side of the closet because this side is so nice. <laughs> but this side is like a little, you know. Mm. But I ain't gonna lie, I color coordinate. Well, actually, somebody color coordinated my whole closet for me, so... It's cute, but I still have all my stuff, and this is not all my stuff. This is crazy, right? 
Y'all, I need to figure out how I want to do this side. Like, I literally been looking on Pinterest for ideas and stuff, but I just don't know because, I mean, clearly I'm not going to leave it like this. But these my little Dolce & Gabbana's never even freaking wore them. Y'all barely see me wear these. My little Balenciaga runners and then I just got a bunch of stuff um, that ain't even over here yet. But I want to... I want to get it over with and like really learn how I'm going to do this closet over here because I just don't know at this time right now. So if anybody has any suggestions, because I don't know if it's two ways I want to do it. It's either I'm going to put my shoe boxes with the shoes on display or I'm going to do my. I'm going to either do the shoe boxes with the shoes on display or like my designer boxes, like I got my LV box or Chanel box. Like, I don't know if I just want the boxes on display, the actual clothing items on display. Well, I guess the clothing items would need to be on display. Like you don't want to just put a bunch of boxes. And then I got this also. It start, it says start using the magic hang, magic pants hanger after two steps. So I bought this. And I don't know how to use this. So, I don't know. We're going to see. Let me take out over here. Hi, Denim. How's your day, Denim? Not that you done did that mischievous ass stuff. Where's my best lady? Oh, right here. And that's on what? Period. So, it's a hanger. That you can say it says you can save using vertical space. So right there, somebody actually ended up using it. I can't wait till y'all like. Let me tell you something. I'm doing my house piece by piece. Like even with my bed, I'm supposed to be getting like a custom bed built. Like all this kind of stuff. It's just I'm so indecisive. I'm a leaper. That's why. But nonetheless, okay. So right here, it says vertical hanger and then horizontal. So with well, hanging it horizontally, I'm assuming that's how you would hang your pants, like jeans and stuff. But then right here, saving vertical with like scarves. So I need to see how I hang it. Now, if I hang it like this, I'm trying to see. It's like this. But I think you need to push this back. Cause that makes so it would be like this. And it would just be hanging. So I could like hang my scarves like this. Or it say I can hang my scarves like this. Now we're doing it this way. I'm assuming you put each scarf on each thing. You know. Cause if you do it that way yeah so let me actually do that so i'm gonna i could do it both ways i mean it's the same amount of scarves but as of right now my as of right now i'm gonna do it this way i think because it'll make sense for it's like timing so i'm gonna put this little thing right here I put all this stuff in my Amazon store too. For anybody that's wondering, it's my home decor stuff in my Amazon. Okay. So we're gonna hang all my scarves up right on this. And I need this to save me time. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't I was so jank. Before I was just putting it on one hang up. I'm like, oh no, I want stuff to actually have a spot of where it's supposed to be you know so okay so i'm gonna hang it up like this that's what i'm gonna do let's see this really is a thing now because look oh this stuff all the way y'all see it so i'm just gonna hang 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 I hang it this way. Okay, period. I probably do two scarves on one. I think that'll be cute. 
So that's my first one. Then I got these other ones. That's why I said I'm kind of janky with it. I'm going to show y'all this way because I feel like the lighting is horrid. Sorry for the bad lighting. Can y'all still see? I feel like y'all can now. <laughs> I <laughs> cannot believe I did that. First off, not... I literally slid my bar out of place. How do you even do that? Like literally it's on here so good. Like you can lift it up clearly, but oh my God. Maybe God did that so y'all really can see what it's giving. Let me, let me embrace it. Cause what in the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Maybe not. Mm. Okay. That's what I'm saying. How did I even do that? Because it's like the bars are in there good. Like they're store rack type bars. Only way it's coming out is if you push it up. Did I push it up? I don't know, but maybe I ain't doing it again. Learn my little lesson. Let me just slap my stuff up here. Okay, bet. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, baby. Cause one thing about it, I was like, what in the hell? Okay, I'll do that in a minute. I could not believe that shit just happened to me. Okay, so we're gonna turn y'all this way. Actually, I'm gonna just finish it and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so this is what my scarves end up looking like and they actually have these little clips that if you need to, you can kind of clip it. So I did one right there, a little clip, just to see what it looks like. And then, open this all the way up so you can see and then another thing i noticed is this is what i was telling y'all like to lay it flat i don't think i'm doing a good job on y'all but like if you wanted to lay them flat this was other good way of doing that to just save space but right now since nothing is there i will just hang it up like that but with me being so much shorter i think it would be better with it being like this because i actually can see the layers because I did two scarves so I did like both my Chanel both my Louis Vuitton this one is from my Glamazon on Tampere studio Chanel Louis Vuitton Chanel Chanel you know so you can see it better that way but this is also cute as well oh I need to do this one too this is the one I made I love this scarf and then these my little clips but I'm gonna use them probably right now I don't need them but they're cute just to well, just to really hold it up there, pretty much. Cute. So, I've been doing like a nice little luxury look in my bathroom. So, I don't know if y'all can see how I'm like folding it. But this is how I'm, I pretty much fold it for my bathroom. So, I fold it like this. Which makes it like a pocket. Then I flip it over. And I'm doing a whole bathroom tour as well. I'm going to fold this like this. See, I'm going to fold that. Then I'm going to fold this inside of there. So I have to actually take this out. Also, if anybody was inquiring, um, this towel color is the color silver. But it's Casa Luna. I really like that brand because I feel like their towels look really good. So I'm going to do it like that. But I got it available at Target. Okay. Love this. Because I'm going to make it like a little pocket. So then I take this part and flip it up and fold it inside there. Right? Do this. Girl, I learned this on YouTube. Then I'm taking this and just making sure the fold is really tight. And then I have like little pins like this. 
you know, like tea pins or pins with the, um, this one bent, so I'm trying to bend it back, but little pins like this, you see? And then I'm just taking this, sticking it in to like, you know, stuck, keep the pocket. And then I got these off Amazon, stuck it right in the middle. And voila, that's how I made that look. Honey, y'all out here catching these little house gems from me, period. And then with this, I'm just gonna pin this side too because I mean, you really don't probably have to, but I like to because I feel like it keeps it together. And then I just hang it in there. So let me show y'all how it look when it hung. Because I know y'all already seen it probably. Also, I got a decor video coming up, if not today, tomorrow, like very shortly. But see how that looks right there? Boom. So I'm gonna put this one over here. And then that's even bomb bomb. Voila. And then if you want it for a little thicker look, you can put a second one. Like a little second one if you want. It's just depending on what you want for your house. So like you can take both these. You wanna make sure they're like turning properly. And boom, look at that, voila. So, uh, but I think I'm cool with the one. But this is what it looks like. That's what it gives, child. It gives very much wholesale vibes to me. So I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. So yes, y'all see me on my little hotel -y stuff, period. And I don't need to do my wallpaper here. I'm gonna do my wallpaper tomorrow. Cause I already did that one up there, of course. So you see the girl, I'm coming through with the little tips and tricks of the trade. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, so I'm about to cook real quick. And I've been using my new griddle as they've been telling me it's called a griddle. And I've been, um, I've been cooking down, period. I really want this steak I got. Ooh. It's gonna be so good. And I seasoned it like days ago. And I seasoned like a little Zale Ghoul or whatever. So I know it's like real good. So y'all know it look like this. Like a little, little grill pack. I should have been did this earlier. But I already seasoned my steaks. And <laughs> Baby, I can't wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About to put them right on. Oh, I should have been done this earlier. This is my old. Mm. But then, I got my little oil or whatever. Let me show y'all. Period. Cause y'all see the girl. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do a little something for y'all. So I definitely love this little thing. It just makes everything better for me. Like I said, I already seasoned them up. So I'm gonna take this and just move it around. But I do notice if I'm gonna cook my steaks and stuff, I gotta keep them like in the middle. Cause if not. They don't really cook as good as everything else. I feel like Loki, I want some steak and eggs, but I might just, I didn't even need that much. And then I got these little tongs. My little tongs or whatever. Okay. And I'm really just gonna let them sit up on there. This need to be washed. gonna be here just gonna let them see take their time <laughs> make sure they flat do y'all need a closer look period honey I've been cooking in here do you hear me I've been checking 
put this right here. I'm actually turning this down. I do not like cooking my steaks fast. I'm gonna put them on like five or four, period. I want to learn how to make gumbo. I bet you all make some good gumbo. I got a crock pot too. That's on my next list of stuff to make. Gumbo. And voila, look at my steak and my eggs and my little mushrooms and stuff. Cute little quick meal, period. And it looks so good. I love my steak. Well done, burnt. But yes, I want to have. Ooh. Not you want some. You want some, but you can't get none. That's not healthy for you. Okay. No, you can't have it. No, no, no. I'll give you a treat though. Y'all. I probably did one of the. Let me sit down. I probably did one of the biggest home hauls I've ever done in my life because I had so much stuff, like new stuff. And I'm also gonna do my bathroom decor today. Oh, my camera don't die, which I'm pretty sure it will because I cannot find my charger for my vlogging camera. But y'all wanna see? I just hear y'all break from it. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just got them filming. There's a lot of stuff in here that look like trash, but I promise you it's not because it's like boxes from Amazon and stuff. So I got this rack. I put all this stuff in my Amazon store as well. But it's my little wine rack from over here. This my little wine rack. I'm gonna put all my wine right there. And y'all know I love me some black or magic wine. And then also, this is my trash. So I want to put that there. I just got some new stuff too. I also got me a new broom set. A new black broom. Because it matches my um, kitchen so much better. So I'm going to put this down. Try to see if I can make it to get like you know they are so i am finally ready period i got my little trainer on shelf so i can be a little bit more snatched so let me show y'all 
So I am going to the BMF watch party because y'all know BMF just came out with a new season. So I'm going to the watch party. I told y'all I wasn't playing. I'm coming, to, you know, to take over a little bit. Girl, also, why my earring kept falling out? So I might just have to say F it and not wear it. But I got me an all black. I'm trying to get a little mafia vibe right now. My little Chanel. And then I got to um, glue my nail back on because it is trying to come off real quick. And I'm going to play with Bring my attract ribs with the time perfume. But yeah, I'm about to start putting everything in my bag real quick because maybe why not? I'm early though. I'm hungry a little bit though. I ain't gonna hold you. And I think I'm gonna take my own camera. So I can take pictures of myself in front of stuff. So it's like I got my own stuff, you know? But I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna let y'all know. Or maybe I'll take my picture there actually now and think about it. Okay. You see the little vibe? Period. I gotta get one more for my finger and then I'm done. Hold on. So I literally had to do promo because I got a party this weekend. So I had to do like a little promo bit for it or whatnot. So. I definitely went ahead and did that. And then now, um, it's like only 6.30. The event started at 7. So I want to get there at like 7.15. So I'm going to leave my house probably at like 7. So while I'm getting ready, number one, I'm probably just going to take a little short. Um, and just get acquainted. Or maybe just have me a little glass of wine. I really love wine. Oh, also, I got this new bar. Don't worry. I'm going to do a video like a house of club video. But I got this new little bar and it's so cute and it lights up, right? Ain't it so cute? So let me give me a, a little, a little shot. I love to take a little shot just to like calm my nerves. But not that my nerves is even really going right now. Could it not? But I feel like when I go to places and I really have to like talk and talk and talk and like network and stuff, I do like to knock off the little chill of just being like, talking i don't know i just do that but girl i don't be taking like a whole bunch i took like a little a li just a little something okay that was not no little something oh my god just a little something i'm trying to do it i'm about to leave now actually i was gonna wait a little bit <laughs> but i'm gonna leave now because On my little stove. Let me get my lights off. Alright, I'm about to leave. Also, I got my all black fit one. I don't know if I showed y'all. And I'm wearing this boot. I got this boot from Akira. They are so cute. I was like, oh, this is perfect. So, yes. Okay, I'm going to see y'all in a bit. I'm going to see y'all. It's going to be so exciting. Y'all, when I told you I was getting outside, I was not freaking playing. I'm getting outside of this. I do not know who the fuck that is. I think I called it. Ciao, oh my God. I gotta go. Bye, babies. Praying about it, God said I'm good. I ran with what God said. And then I started yesterday, really what? Hey, boo. How you? Two legs. <laughs> Oh, Paris. Don't catch that. <laughs> Let me get my Let me get my food in my drink. She is cute. You know this drink will make everything ten times more fun. Them drinks is OD strong. I don't one know what's I had one drink and two shots at home, girl. I feel like I'm a four hour. Oh, I swear to God. That's not even. <laughs> Thank you. So we have another in general question for everyone. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. So our last question is going to go for you, Miles. So you recently played a very different character in a period piece in Stranger Things. Do you feel a difference in the world of these perspective shows, seeing as they take place around the same time? Tell the audience how it was filming two shows at the same time. And honestly, I had a funny question for you after that, too. Yeah, it was a big difference for sure. Um, playing a basketball character in high school, um, and predominantly white, you know what I'm saying, cast in school as well. And it was different transferring that energy towards a game maker slash member of the organization that cooks crack. You know? <laughs> well, at that, you know? Um, so it was different. It was also fun to a little bit of character development for me. Um, just learning how to diversitize characters for, for myself and maneuver that throughout my career. You know, I know there's going to be a different character for me. Um, you know, what's the comes to this is that's just preparing to film those two at the same time. And at that, that was my first time ever filming two projects at the same time. And I was filming both those projects for two years at the same time. You did that? Yeah, so wow. yeah. 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 stuff in Atlanta so it was actually pretty dope so right now I want to take off my rings and my jewelry oh, I'm tired I don't want a little Susie homemakers besides this part where my wig is at oh but no, I really did have a good time. And I'm really glad that I'm like in Atlanta getting outside because remember I kept telling y'all, I was like, I definitely don't want to just be here to waste my damn time. Like I want to get outside. I want to do more stuff. I want to see what's going on. So yeah. So 
I never put my lashes on my on my lash. Oh, I never put my fake. I never put my fake lashes on my um my real lashes. Oops, I'll put it right there. Cause that's how your eyelashes be coming out. But I always put them above my real. State your business. <laughs>